Acceptance Catalyst. In this presentation, I am going to explain mechanism and catalytic cycle. It is better to watch part 1 before watching this video. I am Adi Chavardhan from adichemistry.com. First of all, we should know that Wilkinson's catalyst is a pre-catalyst. It is converted to an active form by losing a triphenylphosphine ligand before entering into the catalytic cycle. So here one of the PPH3 ligand is replaced by the solvent molecule. So this is the actual catalyst that is entering into the catalytic cycle. Thus generated, catalyst activates the molecular dihydrogen by oxidative addition mechanism to give a 18 valence electron dihydrido complex. Look at the changes involved. Here the oxidation state of RH is increased to plus 3 and the square planar complex is converted to octahedral complex. Initially it was 16 valence electron complex and after addition of H2 it becomes 18 valence electron complex. Now a molecule of olefin binds to the complex by replacing a solvent molecule. Since the activation of H2 occurs before addition of olefin, this path is referred to as dihydride path. Next step is the most important migratory insertion of hydrogen. One of the hydrogen undergoes migratory insertion at the double bond. This is a slow step and hence rate determining. So in the final step, the alkane molecule is released rapidly by reductive elimination. It completes the catalytic cycle by regenerating catalyst. Now observe the changes. The oxidation state of rhodium is decreased to plus 1, hence reductive elimination. The octahedral 18 valence electron complex is converted to square plane or 16 valence electron complex. So this is the actual catalyst generated again and used in another cycle. Okay, now this is the complete catalytic cycle. The topmost molecule in the middle is Wilkinson's catalyst, actually the pre-catalyst. It loses a triphenylphosphine ligand to generate the active form. This active form of catalyst undergoes ac oxidative addition with hydrogen followed by binding of an olefin molecule and migratory insertion of hydrogen and finally reductive elimination to generate an alkane molecule. So in this cycle the active form of the Wilkinson's catalyst is regenerated So look at this reaction, Wilkinson's catalyst is uh, catalyzing the reduction or hydrogenation of double bond in an olefin to give alkane. There is also another competing path shown on the right side of the diagram. That's all, this is end of part 2. Visit adhikemistry.com for more information and online coaching plus study material for CSRnet, GATE, IIT JAM. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Write your doubts, queries in the comment section.